Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Women of the Well. How are you guys doing? It's another wonderful day here. I'm grateful to God to be alive. So I hope you guys are prepared um, for another study today. You know, for the past couple of uh, videos, we've been talking about trials and why we go through trials as Christians. So today, I think it is fair that uh, I come up on here and encourage you guys. And also, you know, as I'm encouraging you, I'm also encouraging myself because I know that we all are going through something. We are all going through something in our lives, in the family, uh, in our, the lives of our families. So we need to encourage each other. So our first scriptures we are going to read. Our first scripture will be um, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2. Isaiah chapter 43, verses 2. It says that when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. That is, this is God talking to us, okay? And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. What a wonderful promise we can, uh, we can claim, okay? So whatever thing you're going through, do not be overwhelmed. You are not staying in the fire. You are going through the fire. And guess who is there with you? God, Jesus is in there with you um, in that trouble you're going through. Um, let us read Romans chapter 8, uh, 28. Romans 8, 28. It says that, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Are you called according to God's purpose? He's telling you that everything you're going through, it is for a reason. It is for our own good. Remember that we are just pilgrims here. We are going somewhere. We are all on a journey. So whatever happens in, uh, to us in this life, God is uh, telling us that. Everything works together for our good. So whatever thing you're going through, remember that it is not against you, but it is for you. It is for your own good, okay? Everything that you're going through, it is not against you. You know, it is not to you, but it is for you, for your benefit. Do not be discouraged. Hold on to the promises of God. I'm going to list a couple of scriptures that you can go back, you know, and read them and claim the promises of God. Psalms 50 verse uh, 15, Psalm 91, Psalm um, 126 verses 5, Jeremiah 29, 11, Psalm 55 verses 22, Deuteronomy 31, 8, Psalm 37, 4, Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, and Matthew chapter um, uh, 11 verses 28. Let me read that one. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heaven laden and I will give you rest. God is willing to give us rest, rest from all our troubles, but we need to come. We need to take that initiative to come to God and surrender and surrender to him. And his, he has promised to give us rest. Jeremiah 32, 17. You know, lastly, I just want us to uh, think about this, the love of God, a very, very important thing. When we are going through trials, sometimes we forget that God says he loves us. What happens, you know, when uh, the first time you met your spouse while you were dating, you were in love and all that. You, you, we all know how love feels like. So do you think that when God tells us that he loves us, he really means it? He does mean it. He does mean it when he says that, I love you, Victoria. I love you. He means it. So when you're going through that trials, we need to meditate upon the love of God and ask him, you know, and talk to him about this. Because anyone that loves us, they want our good. That's why everything is working for your good. So meditate on the love of God. So I don't want you guys to be discouraged. I know sometimes it gets very discouraged when you don't even see the light at the end of the tunnel. But trust me, continue to hold on to the promises, continue to meditate on the love of God, continue to meditate on these scriptures and see the wonders God is going to do to you and for you. Remember the reasons why we go through the trials. God is trying to develop things in us. God is trying to get rid of things that he does not want in us, you know, so let us be strong. Let us hold on. Do not be discouraged. This is the time you have to be on your knees and claim the promises of God. 
he will never fail you. He have no, he has never failed me. You know, sometimes I get overwhelmed with things and I just have to surrender. I go on my knees. I'm like, God, I just surrender. And sometimes that is all we need to do. Surrender ourselves to him and let him take control. Well, I'm going to end it here today. I hope you guys were encouraged because I get encouraged. I was encouraged too. So I, I, I pray that the blessings of God be with you and every situation that you're going through, he is there with you. God bless you all. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.